Agenda item number 5A is the turf and soil reconstruction project phases 2 and 3 of the National Mall. And we have Ms. Hirsch. National Park Service has submitted phases 2 and 3 of the turf and soil reconstruction project on the National Mall for concept design review. One of the recommendations in the mall plan was to improve the turf and soil. In addition, one of the recommendations in the plan called to increase the walkways on the mall uh, in order to facilitate the types of events that currently take place. To address these conditions, the Park Service, um, as part of phase one, has designed a curb and gutter system. Um, this will be the same system that is um, applied to all the lawn panels as part of phase two and three. The Park Service is proposing three different alternatives for uh, widening the walkways. The first, um, they're, they're all based on historical plans for the mall. Alternative one looks to the Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill plan from the 1970s and maximizes the green space on the mall. Uh, alternative two looks to the Olmsted Junior plan from the 1930s and the idea in that plan was that the mall would be divided into equal panels um, with the system of active streets and sidewalks. And then the final alternative, alternative three, um, looks to the Macmillan plan and the idea of creating some kind of central or civic gather, gathering space on the 8th Street access. In comparing all the alternatives, staff looked to the comprehensive plan and uh, national mall plan and generally found uh, all alternatives are consistent with the elements and policies in both of those plans um, and is supportive of the project and the Park Service efforts to develop uh, three viable alternatives for modifying the walkways on the mall. It's been moved and seconded that the EDR as presented uh, be approved. Uh, no further discussion uh, here, so all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Thank you very much.